Sheriff Bryan for MMA Heat. I'm here with Jake Ellenberger. He's got a fight coming up against Martin Campman at the tough finale. And Jake, you had a good workout today. How are you feeling? You're just about two weeks out. Yeah, I feel, I feel real good. You know, um, I got a lot of good guys helping me out here. Um, some good looks, just like uh, Martin. Um, a good friend of mine, Chris Wilson, came up from Brazil. So, you know, he's been a tremendous help for me. Um, uh, outstanding kickboxer and really giving me a good a good look for uh, for this fight but uh, you know, I feel good you know we got the last two weeks of training and uh, we're going to Vegas so what do you think though are the difficulties with Campman what exactly are you having him imitate to, to be as good as Martin is sure you know there's a few things I got I got to address his uh, his reach for, for first of all so he's a little bit taller than me kind of like Condit you know a taller guy a little lanky uh, good technical kickboxer so you know for me um, I know I can't get complacent with him um, I can't make any big mistakes you know we saw with Thiago Alves um, he was, you know, Thiago was winning the fight and he got kind of in a submission. So, you know, he's he's well-rounded and he's dangerous everywhere. So, you know, I got to I gotta, um, not get complacent really is, is the big thing for this fight. And what did you learn after your last fight? It was a great fight with Diego, but people were starting to get a little bit worried there near the end. How, how did you feel? No, yeah, I felt good. Um, you know, first two rounds went great. Obviously, in the third round, you know, I got in a bad position there. But I think it was good for me to go through that and, and uh, you know, know I can, I can uh, go through there and... and and survive and um, you know I'm not gonna underestimate um, Diego's his grappling skills and his ground game I mean he's a phenomenal grappler and you know he caught me in a, in a bad position there at the end and uh, that's just a, a really hard position to get out of so um, but as far as my shape you know I felt like I felt great um, so yeah I learned a little bit about myself in that fight um, you know I can carry that on to this this next one but uh, you know it's not gonna be an easy fight and five rounds is, is a you know five five rounds is a long time to fight it's you know 25 minutes I don't, there's not not a lot of things you want to do for 25 minutes and fighting is definitely not one of them but uh you know that's what we got to do to get to that title so um you know I'll, I'll be ready and for sure we know that martin trains with robert drysdale for his jiu-jitsu out in vegas and everything and we know who you train with here at rain but where have you been complimenting your workouts i know also you go over to king's mma yeah you know i've been doing a lot of work with uh with rafael cordero um he's a, an amazing coach you know i've been with him for about two years now um you know, he, he really, he's good with, with, with film and tape and, and really just kind of what he wants me to focus on. And, uh, you know, it's been a good, hard last eight, eight weeks. So, you know, like I said, we got two weeks left. Um, I've been doing a lot of MMA here, you know, with, with Mark and uh, Mark Munoz and a lot of the guys here, uh, as usual. And, uh, you know, putting, putting myself in a lot of bad situations, in a lot of submissions and stuff, and just working at them. So, you know, it's, uh, I'll be ready, though. For this, you know, for this is like, is like my, my title fight right here. So I can't look past this one at all. What do they say? Getting comfortable with being uncomfortable? Is yeah, exactly. Just, just getting more comfortable being uncomfortable every day. So. Well, let's talk about the title fight a while back. Dana had said that this would determine the uh, the first contender for it, for the belt. Is that still the case? Has he said that to you? Or? You know, I, I haven't been told directly that. Okay. Uh, you know, I've heard that, but you know, to be honest, it really it really doesn't matter. You know, like like my whole career, I've just taken it one fight at a time. Um, that's all I can look forward to right now is is the fight in two weeks, and really. After that, it, um, it it doesn't really matter right now. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, my, my goal is to become world champ and, and get there. So um, I, I got I, you know, to win this one and then move on from there. Well, that being said, though, how much would you like another crack at Carlos Condit? Yeah, absolutely. That's, you know what I mean? It's Every day, it's like I, I want that fight more and more. But you know what? Uh, right now, it's Campman. So after that, hopefully, it'll be Condit. But, you know, we'll see. I see that your brother Joe is in here with you. Joe's looking good. He's on a bit of a winning streak himself, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's doing really well. He's 13-1, uh, thir so he's doing good. You know, he's been uh, been training a lot with me. Um, you know, he helps me out in a lot of different situations in wrestling and in positions, and, uh, you know, I've been helping him out with, with some striking and stuff, a lot of stuff that I, that I learned here. And, uh, yeah, it's been great to have him out here, you know, being more comfortable joking around it makes it you know makes it makes it a lot easier to train and, and just have fun now is there any talk is he getting scouted by by your by your uh, bosses over there are you guys trying to get anything going with that yeah yeah um you know he's, he, we've had some talks with joe silva but uh you know they definitely got their eye on him so um he's gonna keep training and, and uh, control what he can control you know <laughs> Very nice. We'll be there soon. Now, I did speak with Mayhem a little earlier today. The guy's in a bit of a feisty mood. Oh, he always is. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not sure which, which Mayhem you're going to get. Because <laughs> usually a lot of time with Mayhem, it's like all puppies and kittens and flowers and jokes. And today he was like, he was a little surly. It was kind of funny. Well, it's, it's funny because either he wants to hurt you. Well, that's usually every day when he trains. He's, he's going to he's trying to, he's going to go after. But it's good, though. You know, I like uh, going with him because he goes hard. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no... Uh, Let's kind of feel, go light today. It makes it realistic, you know what I mean? That's why I like training with Mayhem, but yeah, he's been working hard, really hard. I'm looking forward to his fight, um, you know, and I know he'll be ready for this one, he'll be in shape. 
Now, I think I asked you this before, but since your fight is going to be out in Vegas, do you gamble after your fights at all? Do you play blackjack or craps or anything like that? No, nah, here and there, you know, I like craps. That's, that's kind of my, my game of choice. But uh, yeah, well, I'll, play, I'll play, I'm sure, for a little while. Nice. Not, a, not a huge gamble. I won't take out a loan if, you, if that's what you mean, but <laughs> I'll play a few games. Now, I know you don't necessarily want to give a prediction, or maybe you do, but is there a way you would like to finish this fight? Yeah, you know, um, TKO. If you don't finish him, I, I mean, really just finish the fight. Whether, you know, um, if, that's, you know, if it goes five rounds, obviously that's you know worst case scenario and uh, you gotta prepare for that. But yeah, anytime you can finish the fight would be the best, whether, you know, finish, knock him out, TKO, submission, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> All right. Win, baby. <laughs> exactly. Well, thanks for talking to us, Jake. You're looking good and, uh, and good luck in the fight. My pleasure. Thanks for, ta thanks for talking to me. Hey! June 1st. June 1st. Don't miss it.